This lesson is all about working with Tolex and Rexine, which are vinyl coatings that are most commonly used on amplifiers, speakers, guitar cases. They were also used extensively in bookbinding earlier in the 20th century, as well as um, in what are now considered collectible auto interiors like ambulances, hearse, hearses. Um, so when you've got a tear like this, very often um, our Rub and Restore dye will do a really great job of just sort of filling in these lines and cracks, but when you've got something a little more substantial, a big gouge that you want to fill, um, a really great method to, to repair it is sandpaper, super glue, and baking soda. The baking soda catalyzes the super glue and creates this wonderful epoxy. Um, you don't want to use that on anything that requires flexibility. This is a, a vintage record case that I found in an alley, and um, you know, this doesn't require much movement. It just needs an aesthetic improvement um, and some shoring up. So step one for me will be to dye it, and it just so happens that we have a custom color for a 57 Cadillac that we mixed and we didn't get it right on the first shot, so we bottled it and put it on the shelf, and here we go. So I'm actually also just gonna rip off that piece, um, and now I've got this gouge here, and you'll see that our, our Rub and Restore dye it's a pretty nice job of filling it in, but it's still kind of um, very three-dimensional. And, you know, if you want a better result than just dyeing it, you can put a, an epoxy in there. So I need to dry this first. All right, and you can see now it's more pronounced here. So I'm going to start with my super glue. It's always smart to work with a toothpick or a needle. Um, I'm a little more bold, so I'm just going to lay it in. But it's nice to have that tool handy just to sort of work it into deep little grooves. And then because the super glue catalyzes it instantly, you want to get your surface of, of your super glue pretty nice. Um, so I'm going to feather it out around the edges, kind of l make sure it's, it's level. You don't have any big blobs anywhere. And then here's the baking soda sprinkle a little bit on there. I'm working on a vertical surface which is more tricky. This is a 320 grit wet or dry sandpaper. And what you can also do if you're working on a vertical surface is just pile up the super or the baking soda right there and just sort of press it on. You can see I'm sanding off my die but all of a sudden I've got this lovely uh, lovely smooth surface. I might do one more pass Just right there. A little more baking soda. And that feels wonderful. And of course, as always, the proof in the pudding is how it looks when you dye it up. And look at that. Fantastic and so fast and easy. So again, to reiterate, you do not want to use this method on any sort of leather or vinyl that requires flexibility. Um, and no upholstery, no furniture, no auto interiors. This is for really rigid paneling or something like an amplifier or a groovy old record box. Have fun.